And Never. that is we don't know. I can tell you what we did, but we don't know the actual, what, everything we've been told that we don't want to know the actual, the, the, it has nothing to do with ability, it has nothing to do with, I think it has a lot to do with if they are, think you're going to sell on TV. Well, and, and ability has something to do with it. Cause yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's well, true. They, they took us up to the Adirondacks to uh, one of the Friday the 13th sets, I think it was. Um, it was an old defunct Bear summer Mountain. camp. Yeah, Bear Mountain. Yeah, Bear Mountain. Bear Mountain. And, um, and, you know, pretty much said, all right, you're here, off in the woods with you, and find a place to get comfortable. And they put us through a bunch of evolutions of different things to see if you could do what they kind of expected we'd be doing, to a degree, kind of, a little bit. Um, and some of the guys they brought in, you know, even though, you know, we, real quick, I'm, we're like, nope, 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 you know, so we can tell the guys were there. But then ones that were capable, it all shined through rather quickly, and we had a pretty good idea. Some of us did, and we, and we talked about it a little bit. We, everybody talked, but... Um, there was a process, there's a psychological evaluation, there's medical exams, blood work. I mean, they did a lot of stuff. Um, the psychological exam was fun. I enjoyed it. Was it was fun. a test. Was it was like a bubble test. Yeah, a lot of people use it. A lot of municipalities even use it for when they're hiring people. It'll um, give you a gauge of somebody's personality and what they're like. And um, they're funny. And then we had to sit down with the head shrinker and... Um, I had fun with him. Yes, that we was did. A good time. Yes, we did. That was a good time. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> but so it was a fairly lengthy and involved process. It's not like, hey, I want to go, and they just said, okay, you know, you want to be on TV, you're in. There was quite a bit to it. Did you know any of the other candidates prior? The only candidate I knew prior was that guy. Oh, yeah, I, actually, a year ago at this event, Chris was up here uh, doing some autograph signings for his book. And I was doing what I do. I was doing weed walks, and we ran into each other. And we had met before, and he said, "I'm talking to this uh, casting company about this show," and he kind of just in passing, you know. And I said, "That sounds neat." Yeah. Said, oh, I, I said, "You might like it, you know." So he gives them my contact info. They call me, and then they send me, like we do a Skype interview. Then they send me a camera and say, "Film yourself doing some weird stuff in the woods," and it just went on like that. And we all did that same thing yeah, too. So we all went out in the woods for a few days and spent time video self taping ourselves. Before all the selection stuff began, really, we went out and shot some video, and I'm kind of funny. I did some goofy stuff in it, you know, like I hung a, I made a trap one time, showed them how to make a trap, and then I came back and hung a, a um, Cornish game in it. <laughs> and I'm like, look at that thing, you're the fifth off of that bird. You know, I mean, just being silly. And, Was it under wrapper? No, I did take it out of the wrapper. <laughs> um, so, you know, we had to do that. You're, you're, you know, you're trying to pitch yourself, so you're trying to kind of, Everybody had a different way of doing things. Some of the guys were, they used a rather nasally monotone all the time in their videos. I was, You'll uh, see. I was in Africa and when this all took place, and I, uh, they asked me to do these videos, and I'm like, how in the world am I going to do that? But it's not like I can just go out and stand next to an elephant, you know, and start talking or anything like that. Well, anyway, I had to spend a few days, about a week, I was there for five weeks, so I spent about a week thinking about it and what I was going to do and how I was going to do it. And um, I ended up taking uh, and going out into the, in this village. And uh, one of the guys had a phone, uh, like a uh, like one of these Android phones, I guess. But it had a high def camera in it. So I would take it down in the village with me. We do we do patrols down the villages and around the area in the bush. And I do these patrols. And the whole time I'm trying to talk to the camera and just talk about things and not show a picture of one of these soldiers because you know these guys are going to be leaving this place or leaving their country and going into Somalia. You know, just this show, you know, as I figured, this show's going to open in 200 countries. So there's going to be dudes in Somalia that are gonna, or, you know, some other country where there's a high number of terrorists. They're going to be watching this show. They're going to see this. They could possibly see a soldier. And believe it or not, these African kids can tell. They can look at another African and say, okay, that guy, he's a, he's a Hutu from Rwanda. Or he's a, you know, whatever, Maasai or whatever. He, they, can, they can look at each other and tell where they're from. Uh, not like, you know, I can look across here and we all look like we're from North Carolina, I guess, but I don't know. Uh, but, uh, so I had to be really careful, and I'm still hoping that that paid off. We'll find out soon enough, but, uh, uh, I, yeah, I had, you know, I had never done anything like this. A lot of these guys had YouTube channels, and, uh, you know, they have these shows that are just real popular on the Internet. And I, had, uh, I, had a, I had to learn quick, so I was doing a lot of Googling of how to make a show and how to, you know, I didn't edit it very good. It was edited like a, like a four-year-old edited it, and uh, I emailed it. And uh, the internet would go out as the power would go out. 
uh, power grids there fail. They have too many people, not enough energy. So what they do is they shut the power off at 10 o'clock at night, and the generators kick on. And so uh, the power would shut off, and I'd have to wake up and get up and go over and reset the computer and get it to download or to upload this video to New York City so that they could see my video. And it was horrid. It, was, it took probably three days of, of uploading to finally get it to, uh, get it to them for the, the screening. One of the Grouch family, young Grouch. How, how I don't know that I have. <laughs> Still there. How long have you been out? Since we got home. <laughs> Since the end of the show. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Well, did you have a destination that you were going to? I wish. Yeah. I, I was looking for somewhere anyway. Yeah. Any destination. Yeah, it, that's one of the things for me that was hard. I'm sure it was for other guys. Just sitting, you know, survival is about movement. And um, people that move in dangerous places or move through in a situ situation where they're in survival um, tend to stay alive a lot longer than people that don't. Um, so being static was very hard for me. And, and I'm sure it was hard for these guys too. But we sat still. Firearms were strictly forbidden. No I, firearms. I don't trust me. I asked for all the bears. Oh, I was like, one. I wanted one. I made threats about guns and to no avail. Of course, we were allowed cutting implements. I mean, you know, your standard, you think your standard camping kit, most of that, sans tents, no tents, um, was on the list of approved items. So. How long were you in? In the uh, bush? Oh, we don't we know. Can't. It's till the end of the show. I don't know. Right up until we came out. <laughs> That's kind of the idea. We, we, we honestly, I haven't asked him that. Yeah, asked him yeah. That. I don't know how long he was out there. I don't know how long he was out there. Were there additional people that were out there dropped as well, or was there was ten of us? There were a total of ten of us. Yes. Yeah. And in the selection process, back to that, we get there at this Bear Mountain place, and they have a, a British SAS guy there. Kind of looks like Sean Connery, and he's standing out there in his camera. And one of the first things he does is he passes everybody. Yeah. And we get out there in, in a straight row, and, and there's a little leprechaun who you'll see later, a little red-headed guy. Uh, and he leads us down. We don't know what they're about to do. And we come out on this rock, and there's this massive well, lake. In one place. at a time, though, actually. You're, you're, we're in a group. Yeah. When, we call your, when we call next, somebody walk across the bridge down the trail, you'll see us just come. We didn't know what we were going to do. Had no idea. And this is the first morning. We had camped the night before. This is the first morning of the selection process. We get there, and there's Stan Sean Connery. And he said, this is a survival assessment to test your abilities into the drink. So into the water we go. And then we get out and we're soaking wet. And he says, go build a shelter, go build a fire, dry your clothes off. And yada, yada, yada. Off we go, one at a time. And then he comes around talking to you while you're trying to do your thing. What is hot How do you treat it? Why? What are the symptoms? What would you do? How would you, yeah. Why would you not do that? Yeah. yeah, so that was, it was stuff like that. We had to demonstrate celestial navigation, solar navigation, lunar navigation, how to cook wild game. Different types of shelters. I would call, I sure I would call that die. wild game. Well, we can't. It was, mm. <laughs> How much that crap stuff that's going to be on TV? I don't know if any they, of it was. I don't, we don't think know. we even filmed any of that. It, it was just kind of. Actually, you're right. That, none of that was filmed. No. Yeah. Grant was out with a camera. The producer had a camera. He took a couple of. I wish, looking back, I wish they would have filmed it. Because that would have been some good that TV was, right there. That was funny. It was neat. There were some hilarious moments in that one. 